outright. Now, sometimes we might want to have the Z score at the bottom as well. So I can see the X in terms of X's as well as X's in terms of the Z, uh, the Z score. So that would be kind of neat to have. So it's a little tricky uh, to do that sometimes. And sometimes we have to add, it'd be useful to add another column in order to get that uh, Z score a, a second X uh, down here, a second X horizontal. So to do that, let's first get some other data. This is gonna be the P of X is greater than or equal to 79. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to say that I wanna pick this number up when it gets to 79 or higher, right? And, and everything else I want to be blank. So I could do it this way. I could just say, well, okay, well, this is gonna be equal to this up to here and then plot that. That would work. But I wanna do it so I, I can change it automatically by just changing this number. So I, could use, I can use a logic function to do that which would look like this. So I'm gonna go up top and say if equals if brackets, here's my logical test. If this number is uh, greater than, uh, is greater than or equal to the this number, 79, I'm gonna F4 that number because I want it to be absolute F4, dollar sign, absolute reference. In other words, dollar sign before the D and the 13. Then comma, that's what the comma means in my if reference. Uh, the value, what do I want the value to be? Then I want the value to be this percent value. So do that. If not comma, what do I want? I want you to leave it blank, meaning double quotes because there's nothing in the middle. That's my text format. So it'll just do nothing there. Close it up and enter and that nothing's there because it's under so I'm gonna double click the fill handle and I should see it show up down here. I'm also gonna add the formatting, home tab, number, percentify, and decimalize. And there we have it. Now you could get an approximation by summing it up down here, alt, enter, and let's pull it up to the top. It guessed wrong, the dancing ants need to go up to the top so it'll be dynamic. And then let's percentify this one, home tab, number, percentify, we get the 1.78, which is not the same thing we got over here. You would think this would be the more correct calculation because you can't just sum it up because we're talking about the area under the curve. But now that we have this, we would like to add this to our graph so that we can get that pictorial representation. So I'm gonna go back to my graph over here and say we wanna add another data set. So I'm gonna click on it, go to my chart design up top, my data up top i'll pull this over here so i can see it a bit better and then we want to be pulling up this data on this side so i'm going to add a whole nother data set i'm going to name it with that dynamic name that we put up top so here it is fancy name being added and then the data set i'm going to remove this click here it's a little finicky on this one so be careful you want to put it up top to pick up the whole thing and then control shift down Make sure you don't pick up the total, so shift up. So there it is. And then, okay, so there we have it. And so there you have it. It draws that kind of line. It's a little bit kind of wonky because we don't have a whole lot of data that we used to populate this, but it gives you that line. So I'm gonna say, okay, and there we have it. So I'm gonna say, okay, and there is our line uh, over here at the 79. So we have the 79, you can, imagine pictorially that that orange bit then is representing this uh, this part, which should have an area under of 120, right? We could see the pictorial representation. So now I could say, all right, let's see if I can add a legend to it, clicking on the plus button, legend. So this blue is the P of X, the whole thing. And then the orange is uh, the P of X greater than or equal to 79. Now remember, if this P of X is greater than or equal to 79, we also know that the blue one is gonna be kind of, you know, the inverse, everything less than or equal to, uh, in essence, the 79, right? Uh, but, so we can use this one graph then to answer other questions as well, such as uh, what, what would it be less than or equal to? It would be the blue side. But we might want a whole nother, another graph to, to represent other questions uh, as well. So, so the next thing that we might 
have is, for example, a type of question where it says P of, well, before we do that, let's actually also add uh, the z-score to this. So I want to add the z-score, which I can do now. So if I like double click on this, for example, it should open up the format data. And then I'm in this area to the right and we have the primary and secondary and we want to have a secondary axis. So I'm gonna have a secondary axis because I want to add another X so I can show not only the X's, but also a Z. So I'm gonna say, okay, it's a little off kilt right now, but I think it will still be okay. So I'm gonna delete this bit. I don't, I don't need this. So I'm gonna click on that and delete it. That brings it back to uh, looking correct at least. And then we're gonna go up to my data up top and on this second data set, I'm going to use a different, a different X. So I'm going to pick it up by selecting the edit. And then I'm going to say the X is going to be named or the Z. So that's the name that we, oh, I need just the range, the range. So that's going to be from here down to here. No total. That looks good. So I'm going to say, okay, make sure it picks up. You can see it picking it up over here. So that looks correct. I'm going to say, okay, it doesn't look like anything changed until I hit the plus button and in this X axis, I'm going to hit the arrow and then say, I want a secondary horizontal. And so there it is. It picks it up, closing up this little green. Now I'd like to bring this down to the bottom. You could leave it there. It looks fine, but I'm going to bring it down to the bottom because I'm used to that. So I'm going to double click on it. I'm over here in the format and I'm going to go down to the labels. And then I'm going to say to the label position, bring it low, bring it low, swing low, swing. I don't know why I had that song came into my head. So there it is. So now we can see that the Z, we can see this X by the Z position as well as uh, the X. And oftentimes you'll have questions in terms of X's or in terms of a Z score. Okay, so now we might have other questions. We might say, okay, well, what if we said uh, P of X is less than, less than or equal to, and let's do the 79 just to show that here. Now, again, you could use kind of the same graph because you could say, well, if P of X is, is less than, uh, or equal to 79, it would be like the inverse of this, which would be kind of the blue. But we might want a whole nother graph. So let's make this dynamic first. I'm gonna say, let's put the 79 out here so I can change that and then it'll change this label automatically. Double click in the label, go into the end of it, equals quotes from the P all the way to the equals to make it a text field and then shift or an and to connect it and then that 79, I'm going to highlight it and replace it, putting my cursor down onto that cell. You can't see the 79, but it's in there. And then I'm going to tie that to, with an and, a text field, quote, to close up the brackets, end quote, and enter. So now I can change that 79 to 80 or something, and it changes automatically. All right, so the calculation then is going to be, it's going to be a cumulative you can see it here up to and up to the, so it's basically the blue bit, right? So I can say, well, this is going to be equal to the uh, norm.dist. And then the X is now going to be the 79 comma. And the mean is going to be this. And then uh, comma, the standard deviation, we calculated here, comma, cumulative, yes, true, or just one and enter let's uh format it home tab number percentify it add some decimals and uh we're out at 100 percent. that seems awfully high let's bring this down to 79 right and so there it is so and we can also see it this way i can say this equals the same one uh and this is going to be equal to one minus this number right and uh and then hold on